So for the Maxwell equation, the only thing that is the main thing part of that is that he added the extra term for um, that the, that a, a changing uh, electric field also induces a, a magnetic field. Yes. And that explains why that uh, EM waves can self propagate. Yeah, that's a good description. So that's that, a good description. That's like the main. Like that's why the Maxwell equation is important. Or well, actually, well, that's one important. of many reasons why they're important. But, but basically, that explains how the Maxwell equations were completed. Yeah. So originally, the Maxwell equations did not include that one effect you're talking about. Originally, the Maxwell equations showed how a changing magnetic field causes an electric field. That's electromagnetic induction that we studied for the yeah. previous midterm. And then Maxwell stared at that and he said, well, based on symmetry, it seems like a changing electric field should also cause a magnetic field. Yeah. So that kind of explains the rationale for completing uh, the Maxwell's equations over there. Um, but how are they significant? Well, they're significant in many different ways. One thing we talked about is how um, they're still not totally symmetrical because there are electrical charges but no magnetic charges. Um, so there's, a tr there's, there's entries in there for the electric charge, but there's never an entry for a magnetic charge. So that's well, another, uh, that's another the, the integral of B dot D A equals zero. Yeah, I think it's DS, but yeah. Okay. Or no, 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 you're right, it is DA. You're right, I don't I even know how to memorize, but you're right, I think it is DA. So that's zero, because um, magnetic charges are, uh, there are no magnetic charges. There's that's right. There's there's no mag and there's also no magnetic current. So there's also one of the equations has an expression for electric current, um, and the other equation does not have an expression for magnetic current because again, no one has ever isolated magnetic charges. So that's another significance of the Maxwell equations. Uh, but yeah, the most important significance is that they explain how electromagnetic waves can feed on themselves or propagate themselves, just like you explained, because they show that the changing magnetic field induces the electric field and then the changing electric field induces the magnetic field, which shows how the electromagnetic wave propagates. That's probably the application that was emphasized most in your course. That's right. And you described that well. So that's right. Okay.